Psammiticus I was pharaoh of Egypt from 664 to 610 BC. Until the reign of the pharaoh Psammiticus, the Egyptians used to think that they were the most ancient of all the races in the world. But when Psammiticus came to the throne, he wanted to learn who really was the oldest. And ever since that time, the Egyptians have agreed that the Phrygians are the most ancient people, and they themselves are only the second oldest. Psammiticus, finding himself unable to discover the oldest people by inquiry alone, hit upon the following method. He took two newborn babies at random from an ordinary family and gave them to a herdsman to rear amongst his flocks, ordering him to make no sounds in the presence of the babe. They were to be kept by themselves in a lonely cottage and the herdsman was to bring in goats from time to time to see that the babies had enough milk to drink and to look after them in any other way that was necessary. Psammiticus made these arrangements because he wished to find out what word the children would say first, once they'd grown out of their meaningless baby talk. And that is precisely what happened. After two years had gone by, the herdsman, who'd done everything he'd been told to, happened one day to open the door of the cottage and go inside. As he entered, both the children ran towards him with their hands outstretched and said the word, Bekos. The first time, the herdsman took no notice, but after he'd visited them many times to care for them, and heard this word a good deal, he told his master and brought the children so that Psammiticus could see them. When Psammiticus himself had heard this, he made inquiries about which people's language calls something bekos, and discovered that it was the Phrygian word for bread. And so, reasoning from this, the Egyptians relinquished their claims and admitted that the Phrygians are more ancient than they are. That this is what really happened I heard from the priests of Hephaestus in Memphis in Egypt.